Sight is one of our most important senses. The sense of sight allows us to orientate ourselves to what is around us. When we lose our ability to see, we lose our sense of orientation. A healthy eye functions like a camera. It focuses the incoming light rays and projects them onto the retina. Two types of light-sensitive receptors in the retina, the rods and the cones, transform these light patterns into electrical signals. The signals are then transmitted to the optical nerve, which relays the information to the lower surface of the brain. Here, the image is assembled. Many eye diseases can be treated with glasses, contact lenses, medication or even eye surgery. But others, such as retinitis pigmentosa, can be neither prevented nor cured. Up to 150,000 Europeans suffer from this severe degenerative eye disease. For many of them, it can lead to blindness. It's a genetic eye disorder, which means that you were born with it. You have it from birth. Of course, a lot depends on the form taken by retinitis pigmentosa. There are forms of early manifestation, which means that someone can be affected at birth. It can occur in early youth, but the first symptoms, signs and major complaints tend to occur in early adulthood. Retinitis pigmentosa is characterized by progressive dying of the light receptors in the retina. If the receptors begin to die starting from the periphery, the affected person only sees what is in front of him. If the receptors begin to die starting from the center outwards, the vision of the affected person becomes restricted to the periphery. Reduced vision, night blindness, and a restricted visual field are the main symptoms of this hereditary disease. This little fish, the zebra fish, is at the center of scientific investigations to understand the underlying causes of retinitis pigmentosa. Zebra fish are vertebrates, just like humans. Their genetic makeup and developmental processes are similar to ours. Zebrafish are easy to keep and easy to breed in large numbers. Females produce up to 300 eggs a day. Once the eggs are fertilized, scientists collect them for further observation. Within only 24 hours, the fertilized eggs develop into embryos. And perhaps best of all, the eggs of the zebrafish are transparent. So, scientists can observe how all important organs, such as the eye, are formed. Zebrafish eyes function in a similar way to human eyes. Fish primarily use cone photoreceptors, just as we humans do. This means that we can examine cone vision in fish, and this research has a particular significance for humans, since we also work primarily with cone vision. Scientists are now studying zebrafish specifically bred to have eye defects similar to patients suffering from retinitis pigmentosa. They want to find genes which may be responsible for the degeneration of cones in the retina. But how can scientists find out if these mutants have an eye defect? They test the stereotypical eye movement reflex, which is evoked by motion in the surroundings. It is the same reflex that passengers experience in a train when they're looking out of the window. In order to get a clear picture of the objects passing by, their eyes begin to flutter. 
To test this reflex in zebrafish, the mutant is fixed in a gel so that only the eyes can move. Just like passengers on a train, the fish can observe vertical lines moving in front of its eyes. If the fish sees properly, its eyes should follow the lines. In another approach to understanding the functioning of the retina, scientists inject specific nucleotides into fertilized eggs of the fish. This way, they block the expression of specific genes assumed to play a role in the healthy development of vision. The eye reflex test, scientists examine the functioning of these genes. So if the fish doesn't move its eyes, it is very likely blind. The blocked gene thus plays a role in vision development. Experiments such as these help us trace disease mechanisms that show us why, for example, photoreceptors are damaged as a result of certain human diseases. For patients who are affected by retinitis pigmentosa, physicians can at present only offer to diagnose and monitor the progress of degeneration of the retina. To develop treatments for this hereditary disease, scientists still need to do more experiments to study a specific gene or genes involved more closely. And the next step would be to understand how this gene functions. And for this, we need animal models, and the zebrafish is ideal for this kind of research.